welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be sharing with you on how I passed part one and I will share with you some study tips and my recommendations on how you can help improve your score as well as what I would have done differently. So part one, here's a breakdown that I've listed here. It is all your anatomy, your physiology, um, all, basically all the sciences that you've taken during your first year of optometry school, including um, ophthalmic optics. Um, so on their website, there's a breakdown of the matrix of what is going to be covered and which topics aren't. So you can go on there and find out more information and figure out kind of like a study schedule to see which areas you want to start on first, maybe your weakest area or your strongest area since you already are familiar with um, the topics covered there. But essentially that's what part one is. So the first thing that I utilized was KMK. Um, I did purchase the signature package, which was the medium level um, and then I remember there were speakers that came to campus that taught particular topics and they basically just go over um, the parts of the book which is provided in your package and they will let you know what you really need to know and highlight some of the most important things that um, you should remember for each section. They did offer like a summer booster course um, which I purchased. And that really helped me because it helped me um, kind of strengthen my um, performance in weaker areas such as optics um, and then some of the sciences as well. So I definitely recommend their booster course series if that's available. The online portal, there's lots of resources there. There's practice questions, practice mock exams. Also um, videos on tutorials and explanations on, on particular subjects. So I would definitely make use of those. Give yourself some time on the weekend or so to just go over those and review those in detail. Um, another good resource is OptoPrep. Um, now, what I found to be helpful is OptoPrep does consist of a lot and a lot of practice questions. Um, I would say the majority of questions on the board exam was similar to those of OptoPrep formats. So my recommendation is you can um, kind of share an account with a friend to split the cost and then just review it together in person or study together and um, just try to get as much done as you can. It is very time consuming, but the more effort you put into um, studying and preparing, the better your results and the more likely you'll pass. So one thing I like most about OptiPrep is that if you completed all of their um, study materials online, it'll kind of show in the progress bar 100% completion. Um, then once you've done that and you've taken the board exam but you didn't pass the first time, you can always write to them and ask them if they can extend your um, subscription period, that way you're able to redo and re restudy all those materials again for free and they'll honor that. So that's one thing that I like most about OptiPrep. Okay, so my recommendation for you if you're a third year and you want to know when you should start studying, I recommend start studying as soon as you can. If you have free time during the weekends or maybe like after clinic, set aside some time just to kind of review some of the materials because there's going to be a lot to cover and you don't want to rush or procrastinate and wait till the last minute and you're going to feel very overwhelmed and you feel like there's not enough time. So just set a study schedule, create one, and for each week, write down the topics that you'll hit for that day and do some practice questions and flashcards. So after that, um, I would definitely recommend utilizing both KMK and OptiPrep. Um, do as many practice questions, time exams as you can. Pretend it's the real thing. You're gonna sit there, time yourself. Um, you're gonna have no distractions. You're gonna take it as if you're really taking that exam and you'll figure out what you need to improve on um, as far as timing and how to pace yourself. 
one tip for students who are taking the test and they're stuck on a question, just move on. Um, don't take up so much time. You can always flag it and go back to it towards the end. Focus on other questions because if you're spending more than one or two minutes on a question, then you're taking too long and you should really pace yourself so that you have time to complete the other questions. Again, this exam is pretty long, um, four hours in the beginning and then four hours in the afternoon. So another thing that I found useful was creating my own um, little study cheat sheet. Uh, when you're going through optics and ophthalmic optics, there's going to be formulas that you need to remember. I would start with a sheet of paper and write down all the formulas that you need to memorize and kind of write down when you're going to use it or what it's for. That way you can have an idea and then you can go back and memorize each formula. Okay, so it is the night before your exam. You're tired, you're overwhelmed, you're stressed. So I recommend just stopping completely, no more studying, just give yourself a break, go do something fun, relax, um, make sure you have your IDs ready. Um, also, pack a light lunch or bring a a water bottle and some snacks with you tomorrow to the testing center. Um, you will have time to eat during your break. Um, a few days before your actual exam date, I do recommend driving down to the testing center if you're not familiar with the area, just to locate where the testing site is and how parking is like. Um, yeah, so I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you like the content, please subscribe. Um, comment below and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video for part two and yeah good luck with everything and see you in my next video